Now we are discussing the two dimensional parity check or called 2D parity check. Well, it is the one of the part of error detection techniques means whenever the sender is sending the data to the receiver, then there in the transmission sometimes the data become corrupted or lost. Few bits are changed. Now those corrupted data or those changed bits are taken care by the this 2D parity check. So these mechanisms are called the error detection mechanism where we find out the error in the data which is sent from sender to receiver. Now this is one of the mechanism or the method of error detection which is 2D parity check. So talking about 2D parity check it detect the burst error. Well burst error means whenever the more bits are corrupted. If the one bit is corrupted then we are also having the method for that. But here if multiple bits are corrupted then this two dimensional parity check can easily detect such type of error. Now here we will see the combination of VRC and LRC. We know that VRC is the vertical redundancy check and LRC is the longitudinal redundancy check. So here we are having the combination. So first of all if we are having the original data here. Now original data is divided into the blocks first of all. So these are the different different blocks of data block 1, block 2, block 3 and block 4. So now these all blocks are taken one by one and afterward there the parity is calculated. So here we can see that first of all if we are having the first block then this first block is taken. So this one is the first block. So this first block we are taking here. So we can see that this is the first block where we are having 11001111. Then we are having the second block of data. We have also taken the second block here. This one is the second block. Then afterward we are taking the third block. And this third block is taken here. 0111001. Then afterward the fourth block. So this fourth block we are taking here. So these are blocks we have taken. And this is 0101001. Now here two dimension means longitudinal as well as vertical both redundancy are calculated. First of all we are checking the row wise. In the row we can see that here we are having number of ones in the first row. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We want to make the even parity. So 5 ones are there. So we have added one more one. So it is now become 6. Checking about the second row here. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again these are the odd number of ones. To make it even we are adding one more one here. Now checking the third row. 1, 2, 3, 4. Already these are the even ones. Now 0 is added here. Then afterward checking the row number 4. So 1, 2 and 3. These are the odd number. So 1 is added. Now this has become the E1. So this way this side we have calculated and this is called the row parity. So row parity we have calculated. So this particular parity is named as row parity. Now talking about this is the two dimension. So one dimension we have calculated. Now is the time to calculate the another dimension which is the column parity. So now first of all we are taking the first column and this one is our first column. And here in this column we are going to calculate the parity. So we are going to find out the 1, 1 and 2. This is already E1 so it is 0. Then talking about the next column here. In this column we are having 1, 2 and 3. So 3 number of 1's are there. To make it even I am adding one more 1. Then talking about the next column. In the next column we are having 1 and 2. Already even 1's are there. So 0 is added. Then talking about the next column here. So 1, 2, 3. So 3 1's are there. To make it even I am adding one more 1. Then the next column here, in the next column we are having 1 and 2. So 2 1s are there, it is already even, so 0 is added. Now talking about the next column here, 
in the next column we are having only one so one is the odd number to make it even i am adding one more one now this one is the other column so here one two three and four four is the even number so zero is added now to this parity which we have calculated again i am calculating a cross parity so there this is a column now one two three so one more is added so this is called the column parity so column wise we have calculated the column parity now you can see that it is like a table two dimension table that's why it is called the two dimensional parity check because the row wise we are finding we are also finding the column wise so now we are taking all the data with the parity so let us suppose that we have taken the first data here now first data with its row parity that is taken similarly we are going to take the second row again the second one the data with its row parity is taken then again talking about the third block in the third block again we have taken the data with the row parity then we are talking about the fourth now so fourth block is again taken and here the data with the row parity now again we know that one more row is calculated which is the column parity so that column parity completely is taken at the last of the blocks so this is the data and the parity bits now this is the combined data this is we are going to send to the receiver now at the receiver side we will send this particular data with the 2d parity bits and the receiver is going to cross verify if it is matching then it is going to take this packet and if it is not matching it can discard the packet or correct that packet with the error correction mechanism so that is all about the two dimensional parity check